Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here with a J-Beck four-string cigar box guitar. This has a humbucker pickup in it, as you can see. See that big old silver thing there? Now, my cigar box guitars, I try to keep the old school vibe going with these, so I use a bolt right here for the bridge and four screws to hold the strings in. And I use a bolt up here for the nut. I have screws for the string trees to hold the strings down. And I use regular store bought tuners. And the frets are the regular wire frets you'd find on uh, Gibson or Fender or Gretsch, etc. Same type of frets. I use red oak necks and you can see the fret markers there. I put a little tag there with the company name and I sign and number all of them on the back here. One volume knob. I got this cranked up through a 65 Princeton. It's cranked up pretty loud to give you the good the, the vibe of it. I have it tuned to open G right now. It's got a nice spank to it, which uh, it's got that kind of a country, country picking sound to it. Let me turn off my uh, my TV. I think I might be getting a, just a little bit of uh, interference on it. So uh, anyway, it's got a got a nice country kind of a twang to it, kind of a spank. I've got this amp up, but at about seven right now. I had it cranked up to ten a little while ago. And it just really had a nice full sound, but yet with that kind of a Telecaster spank. And I attribute that to the fact that this uh, humbucker back here is pretty close to the bridge. So, you know, obviously the closer to the bridge the pickup is, the more trouble you're going to get out of it. stringer and I make a one string diddly bow. Uh, the four stringers I usually tune to an open chord and you can tune it however you like though. Some people tune these to a regular guitar tuning even though there's only four strings on it. You'd be amazed what you can do if you experiment with these things. Uh, I, I keep my try to keep my action as low as I can so that you can play it with slide or finger style and you can see the action on this one is, is pretty low. And the uh, the next because they're coated with a, a polyurethane spray, they remind me, the tone reminds me a little bit of like a maple neck strat or a telecaster. But of course, you know, your tone can vary depending on what kind of strings you use and what amp you're, you're uh, plugging it into. So these things can be a, a, a good kind of a country guitar, 
They can be a good rock and roll guitar. Uh, you can even play jazz on these. Just like any other guitar, you can play any kind of music. Your Les Paul is not strictly for blues or rock and roll or metal. You can play jazz on it too. So these uh, guitars are no different in that respect. So they keep uh, the old school vibe going, but yet you can play any kind of music on them. You can play slide on these. You don't have to tune it open. Uh, I like to tune them open because that's what I play when I play blues. I play open tuned. If I have a six string guitar, I tune that open as well. I'm sorry, this is A. This is tuned to A. Because these are light gauge strings, so they're a little bit a little bit slack if I tune it down to G. So sorry, this is A. So the A remains A. The D goes up to E. The G goes up to A. And the B goes up to C sharp. Now if you listen to the tone on this when I play individual notes. I mean that sounds just like a Telecaster or a Strat. Princeton uh, reverb it's set on about seven right now and uh, that's going to give you the natural distortion. I think Keith Richards 1972 and there you have it. Obviously, change your settings on your amp. You can get different tones and stuff. So uh, you can experiment with these things. You can plug in any kind of effects with these distortion, flange, whatever. It's just like your regular guitar, regular electric guitar, except it's made out of a cigar box. And I make boogie board foot stompers. I also make a electric washboards, and I make suitcase bass drums. And you can find them all at jagshouse.com. By the way, the hum you're hearing is not the guitar; it is my TV. Thanks for watching.